All right, uh, what's up everyone? I'm Dreadpool. I'm out here in Orlando, Florida. Decided to hit up Old Town. Tiny Giant and Death Dealer are inside already. Uh, probably shopping around or, or sitting around. I don't know when I left them, we, they were sitting. But um, up front here and along the path, you'll see that there's uh, plenty of food, store, uh, restaurants, uh, other variety of stores, shopping that you can do. Um, on the other side of Checkers, you'll see that there's one of those slingshots that they got there. They have the Ultimatron, just a little swing that goes around. Little <laughs> understatement. But uh, we're gonna walk through and because there's music, I'll probably have to either overlay some music or somehow figure out a way to quiet it down so I don't get dinged. So sit back, enjoy the walk.
Well, as you can see, the rain's coming down. And, uh... It rains, of course. Yeah, it does. Um, this camera's not waterproof uh, in the situation it is right now with the microphone. And I don't have the seal for it, so we're just gonna stop this part. Thanks, and, uh, you know, let me know what you think. So, we're at Mortem Benair, the haunted attraction in Orlando. We're just gonna walk through the gift shop because we are not allowed to go anywhere else. What is this, the exit? Way to go. Is it through that door? Is it through that door? No, it's just this area right here. That's it. Oh, okay. All right, well, this is it. Yeah, my shirt glows. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's it. We're gonna go inside and see what it what it's like. All right. So we just got out of Morton Manor. <laughs> um, it was. I liked it. It was fun. It, I thought it was fun. I liked it. It was intriguing. What did you think, Minnie? I liked it, but I got spooked. Well, that's, well, that's the, point. the point. You're supposed to get spooked. It's a haunted house here in Orlando. It's a um, open house or haunted house that is open uh, 365 days. Well, they're all open year round. All year round, but they're closed like usually Mondays and Tuesdays. Yeah, they're closed like um, two days a week. Um, they run from 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. most nights. I believe their weekend hours are later. Um, not, not, not 100% do, sure. I we'll have all know, the links with all the information down below. I do know that they change their setup and their story theme uh, every few months. How often? I'm not sure. I just I know what I've read online and what they've interviewed and stuff. Um, they do change it out every once in a while, so it's not always the same thing. Um, they do have a package deal. It is twenty dollars a person to get in, no matter the age. They recommend 15 and up, or 12 and up. 12 and up. However, uh, 15 and under. 15 and under have to have an adult with them. Mm -hmm. uh, if you pay $35, you can get a t-shirt as well as entry into the haunted house. And the t-shirts are $25 a piece. Ooh, they have two styles. Can you hear that? They have two different styles. We got this one because this was the one they had in the size we wanted. It is just your basic t-shirt, black t-shirt. There's nothing anywhere else. It's just a black t-shirt with their name and logo on it. Um, and then the other one is uh, Haunted House. Yep. It's the yeah. Morton Manor printed out on the front. It's really cool looking. Um, but those are your two shirts to choose from. They do have koozies, uh, mugs. They have a pumpkin uh, drawstring bag, uh, syringe pens, and shot glasses. Shot glasses, and I think that's it. There, there might have been a couple other things, but um, it, it doesn't matter. I went in there it's with a 360, so there'll be some stuff on there that you probably pick out from the 360 if we missed anything. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's what we thought of that place. It was pretty yeah. cool. I suggest uh, anybody has a chance to go ahead and go, and you should have a good time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Definitely oh, check it out. Um, before I forget. It is an old town in Orlando. It's an old town, but it's not wheelchair or no. handicap friendly. You mm. have to go upstairs, and I didn't see any place for any accommodations for that. So, yeah, if you I don't think are, are. It's very narrow. Yeah. Um, so, you go upstairs, downstairs, around the corner. There's even a slanted Oh, yeah. Walkway. You, you walk so if down. you have any kind of walking disability, it, this is not for you. You walk down like one of those like bridge oh, things. Yeah, the bridge. It's like the 
the each one its own piece so they kind of move when you it's almost like a yeah. fun house walkway in a way it reminded me of really cool area but yeah i wouldn't and then there's also an area where it's completely pitch black and you see nothing there's um everywhere. so you just have to go forward may not be the best for people who are handicapped and whatnot because yeah and yeah but it's it's but it is fun it's it's fun it's just if you have a walking disability not uh, the best it's idea not gonna be a, a any thing physical for you. handicaps would not be a good idea if yeah. you're claustrophobic i highly recommend against going because it is extremely tight in some areas and, and i would say heart condition would be another one pregnant or heart condition would would be well, yeah, kind of like that right there saying for haunted houses though I thought, yeah but yeah but th this same, one here is yeah, yeah this, this one here had a little bit more on the the, the jump scare frights yeah. when it when they did go that it could be effective. That, they had some really neat stuff. Oh, that really was cool really stuff. cool. Very detailed. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Again, and thanks. The actors were really neat. Yeah, the actors were fun. Good. Uh, again, thank you. Uh, if you like the stuff, like and subscribe, share it out, and um, hit the bell icon. You know, maybe that way you'll get the ding for when they pop up. Yeah. Thanks again. I'm Dreadpool. I'm Death Dealer. And I'm Tony Janet. Bye. Bye.